Hello, I'm Kirk Williams, and welcome back to The Know, news and commentary. Now, on the last segment, I kind of opened up with the thing about the uh, slavery, you know, problems, where problems, and I made a, a reference to um, the Asian teacher and fortune cookies, and one of our audience guests, she wanted to say something. Lindsay, are you going to talk to us, Lindsay? Come on. Lindsay thought it was wrong. She said, I shouldn't did the. Yeah, I kind of thought it was fighting fire with fire. Really? You know, yeah, like a racist, a racist joke towards a racist joke. And I kind of, as an Asian American, I got kind of offended by that. Yeah, but fortune cookies, they're like, kind of like fried chicken. Everybody makes chicken. Well, right? that's true. It's like a stereotype. Um, well, no, but but that's, a, it's a blanket stereotype. Everybody eats chicken. Asians, blacks, Hispanics. And everybody eats fortune, fortune cookies. cookies. <laughs> Well, they know what a fortune cookie is, but not everyone eats and, it. And you know what? The funny thing about fortune cookies is we all, what, love them. That's true. That's true. <laughs> That's good. I'm glad you had something to say, Lindsay. You know why? Because you know. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Check this out. A 33-year-old mother was arrested for hiring two strippers for her 16-year-old son's birthday party at a bowling alley. Now, you do the math. 33 minus 16, uh, what's that, 17? Okay. Now, the strippers, they didn't get naked, but they did give lap dances in their bras and underwear to kids who were as young as 15. Cops started investigating after photos of the party were posted, where else, online. The woman is facing up to five years in prison for endangering the welfare of a child. Hmm, it makes you think. 33 minus 7. No. Oh, maybe she is a child. <laughs> Brockton, Massachusetts. I had a fifth grade teacher that told me, you say Massachusetts. Well, child welfare agents are investigating the parents of fourth grade rapper Lil Poopy for child abuse and neglect in the case of the nine-year-old who appears in sexually suggestive rap videos. The videos show the boy slapping a woman's behind, engaged in basically booty dances and glorifying drug use. Police started investigating after the local newspaper did a story on the boy. Um, the boy's father, Luis Rivera, told the newspaper his son is only acting and not doing anything wrong, kind of like, you know, the leading cause of teenage pregnancy, just acting. Well, uh, or you can maybe, I'm sorry, maybe you could say like a kid learning how to ride a bike without training wheels and a helmet. That's nicer, eh? <laughs> okay. Now, I have been and am an older student, but a 56-year-old student at a Michigan school says his free speech rights are being violated by being suspended for writing an essay hot for teacher. Joseph Corlett was also barred from the campus of Oakland University in Pontiac. Now, don't get this confused with my peeps over here in Oaktown. This is a whole different place. Now, he was told to get psychological counseling before he can return. Mr. Corlett did say, however, that while he described the instructor as hot and attractive, he did not want a relationship with her kind of just acting, right? All right, okay, this month's cracked news. Police in Pennsylvania said a man seen with a bulging lip during a traffic stop turned out to have, do the math, this is a lot of math, this one, have 23 pieces of crack cocaine in his mouth. Police said they pulled the pickup truck over because three men were inside, but the vehicle only had seat belts for two. Um, police said a passenger, Frank Lee Turner, 56, ran from the vehicle during the traffic stop and was heard mumbling with a bulging lip. And he was told to return to the truck and, and a fight ensued. During the fight, he was tased and 22 more individually wrapped pieces of crack cocaine spewed from his mouth. I, I, guess he should probably stick to chew. You know, a little piece between the cheek and gum will do you. Susan Basham, 47, 
was not happy to discover the crack cocaine she bought was actually sugar. I gotta say sugar, not sugar, sugar. She was not about to be ripped off, so she called the police to report her dealer for theft, telling them she paid $40 for crack cocaine and was given sugar instead. She asked the cops to arrest her dealer for theft and get me a refund. Well, subsequently, the officers arrested her for possession of drug paraphernalia after they discovered a crack pipe. Oh, crack pipe, crack pot, crack pipe. Well, finally, how many of us here have had or has a dog? Well, this couple in Surrey, England, after taking their Labrador Retriever for a walk on the beach, discovered he had a problem. He was acting a little strange, so they took him to the vet, and after he was x-rayed, they were shocked when they were told that he was stoned, completely out of his mind, stoned. You see, Fido had consumed over 100 stones, uh, pebbles, rocks, you know, things you throw, rocks. I, I guess it all depends upon what neighborhood you grew up in. Hey, I'm Kirk Williams. You are now in the know. And thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. And do go give somebody a piece of your mind. See you next time. Bye-bye.